Welcome to the channel. The purpose of today's video is to unbox the Canik TP9 Elite SC. The pistol comes packed in a nice sealable box that you could put locks on if you needed to. Let's take a look inside and see what we have. So inside you get a cleaning rod that'll hold a patch, a cleaning brush, Canik puts your instructions in a nice little envelope here and all your paperwork. Let's take a look at those first. So join the NRA. Welcome to the Canik family. So this is uh, a link for uh, getting custom parts and things. You have your manual. Canik always does a great job on these manuals. It's nice glossy paper, has a contents, uh, clear instructions, good diagrams and uh, just easy to follow good quality and good presentation there have a warning here about the assembly so this must be an addendum to the manual all of that paperwork is contained on a separate flap here which is always nice and let's take a look at what you get in the box inside the box you get a holster that the pistol is in you get a 14 round magazine with a extra uh, bumper on it. Of course you get your safety lock. Can't do without that. This is for retail sales. Quality controlled. You would put that on the trigger in a retail situation. You get a nice little box of tools that are all contained. So inside there you get uh, two Torx, an Allen wrench, some extra screws, and uh, some washers as well. And those are uh, slip-proof washers. You also get an adapter for mounting optics. I believe that's for Vortex if I'm not mistaken. You get an extended uh, grip swell. If you don't want the extended magazine bumper on here, you have just a flat one. And those are all the accessories. Let's take a look at the pistol itself. This is the green Damascus version. And I just think it uh, looks awesome. Let's check it for clear. The pistol has a push button magazine release. Comes with a 12 round magazine, but as I mentioned, you have the 14 round option. Here's what the pistol looks like with that 14 round. Gives you a little bit extra grip, two extra rounds. I'm not sure how I'll uh, feel about the rear of this. It feels a little sharp uh, just holding it here, but we'll see when we take the first shots how that does. To me, it feels much more comfortable with this one in my hand but uh, like I said we'll see let's go over the specifications of the pistol so it is a uh, 9 millimeter 9 by 19 magazine capacity uh, is what came with it is 12 round and 14 round but Canik also has 10 15 and 18 round magazines available the barrel length is 3.6 inches overall length 6.7 inches the height is 4.57 inches. It is 1.45 inches wide. It is a single action. It is striker fired. It has the trigger safety and uh, Canik triggers are just outstanding. And then nice reset the magazine release is reversible so you can switch it over to the left side it has a loaded chamber indicator let's put a snap cap in here and let you see what that looks like so it clearly stands up so you can see that visually you could also feel that it has a loaded chamber it has a white phosphorus dot front sight with a rear blacked out rear sight it is optics cut 
Slide release is ambidextrous, and it does have an under barrel rail for mounting flashlights, lasers, whatever else you might want to mount on there, maybe a bayonet. I hope you found this video useful, and I really want to thank you for watching.